putting some lettuce away, Nicholas. How many cases of lettuce do you get a week? Well, we buy actually four. Uh, all the different animal departments, including pigs and uh, bunnies and birds. So including those departments, we'll get in a big case like this of just regular romaine head lettuce. For instance, today we have seven for pigs. We'll get another shipment of probably you know, between four and seven by the end of the week, Friday, just for pigs. Uh, for the kitchen, we'll go through a couple three pound bags a day of just spring mix. Um, the rabbit department usually gets dandelions and uh, dan uh, organic dandelions. So do you, you actually are kind of the commissary for all of the departments? Yeah, pretty much. The oh. only department I really don't buy for uh, is, is Hor dogs. Horses? Well, pigs and horses share uh -huh. uh, the romaine. Uh -huh. uh, but, but they do their own purchasing of, say, hay and... They do. Uh -huh. They do. But you do absolutely. all of the food stuff. You're, you're, the, com you're the commissary. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. That's a big responsibility. I mean, you're not only running a kitchen here, but you're also doing the ordering of all the food for all the departments. Well, yeah. And and we except also, for dogs, I think. Except for dogs. Right. Uh, we also... And cats. Correct. Okay. We also do a lot of workshops. I, I don't know if you noticed or not as you came in. I did. That's why I came today. in the back door. <laughs> We have a workshop today. We pretty much have a workshop about every two weeks for the whole entire year. Aren't those animal behaviorists that are here for a while? Out, out there, yes, yes, they are. Okay. They are. We, but we do everything from uh, high-end donor dinners to uh, how to start a sanctuary workshop, mm -hmm. um, dinners and, my, and snacks. My friend Ann Brooks from Phoenix Landing uh, uh, mm -hmm. attended that one and oh, started yeah. started Phoenix Landing uh, uh, parrot uh, adoption. The Phoenix Land Foundation, and she got her information from you guys, so that was oh, fun. Oh, well, great! Yeah, that's good. That's good. But you have to do special dinners, and absolutely. In fact, I have one coming up this weekend. Uh, one of our founders, Shauna, she is bringing in some high donor, high donors from the New York area. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be doing a special dinner for them, and then another dinner for this workshop here before that, as well as snacks and breakfast and, and uh, afternoon snacks uh, for all of the groups to come into. Oh, thanks. Yeah. This is your, this is your, uh, your walk-in refrigerator. This is. Do you, ha do you have a freezer as well? We do. We have actually a small freezer right around the corner. It's just a standing freezer. Mm -hmm. uh, the majority of what we do uh, are all made here and fresh with fresh produce, of course. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a lot of pre-made frozen items that mm -hmm. come in. So it's fresh every day, pretty much. Absolutely, absolutely. For the anywhere between 100 to 180 people, just over the lunch hour that we serve. 180? Sometimes, yeah. really? Yeah, absolutely. And that's just over the lunch hour, um, from 11:30 to right at one o'clock. We'll bring in over 150 people. Wow. We actually have some new items on the menu, mm -hmm. uh, starting last week. And including today, we are doing a Greek lasagna mm -hmm. with oh, I saw that on the menu. You know, with Kalamata olives and feta cheese uh -huh. and artichoke hearts as mm -hmm. well. So what is she preparing here? She's actually starting the Swordalia. It's uh, basically a Greek um, garlic mashed potato, gourmet mm -hmm. uh, mashed potato that uh, we're starting just today. Mm -hmm. See so that water, water ready to water boil it? Water boiling for all the potatoes. And then the uh, salad bar is in the process of being uh, composed. Uh, composed, exactly. This is just a wonderful kitchen. Now, that is a convection oven? You know, it actually was a convection oven that was converted to being just regular oven. Uh -huh. uh, it was also a donation. So we've been able to convert it for our purposes just for uh, having it be a tabletop oven. It's amazing. You've got that three compartment freezer. Mm -hmm. It was a donation. This was a donation. Absolutely. Incredible that yeah. you have so many items that Best Friends really does need. Oh, definitely. That, you know, just with this, that, or the other thing, they can donate or inquire if it's something that, that Best Friends might need. And all they have to do is send an email. Exactly. Ranging from everything from our eco friendly cups and lids made out of cornstarch. The state, uh, potato starch, 
plastic wear. And that just is biodegradable. I mean, that just Absolutely disintegrates in within a matter of weeks, doesn't it? Yeah, actually, it's uh, anywhere between 30 to 45 days in, of course, optimal conditions. But it will biodegrade in any condition. Mm -hmm. uh, everything from the sugar cane to-go containers that we have. The, the to-go containers are made of sugar cane? They are. Wow. They are, absolutely. Uh, you could actually eat one. You could. <laughs> Probably need a little bit of salt, maybe. <laughs> We also have a um, eco-friendly dishwasher that uses less water. It's actually a low temp dishwasher as well. Uh -huh. And we have all eco-friendly products that go into the dishwasher as well. So we do everything in our power to make sure that we're as eco-friendly as possible. And you don't leave as big footprints on the exactly. earth. Exactly. Wow, well, thank you. Exactly. Dishwasher here and all of our chemicals and products are also eco-friendly. Um, that we have all our pot and pan detergents and sanitizers and that sort of thing mm -hmm. that go in the low temp dishwasher. We actually got that through um, a vendor, U.S. Foods, here mm -hmm. in the area. Mm -hmm. They work really closely with the North Rim of the Grand Canyon that also have a lot of eco-friendly products, including the cornstarch and um, Silverware. Silverware and to go products. Exactly, exactly. And they have an eco friendly dishwasher as well. So you can get all of the, the lunch. I mean how how quick is the cycle? Is it pretty fast? It is. It's 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 really fast. Uh, it it's it's fast enough to take care of hundred and fifty people over the lunch hour. No problem. And so it doesn't take hours and hours. No, no, not at all. Wow. Not at all, just minutes. Uh huh. You were telling me about Blue Sky Recycling? Blue Sky Recycling out of St. George, Utah. We actually work really closely with as far as recycling of cardboard boxes, paper products, plastic, glass. Um, and they come up here once a week to the sanctuary to different drop-off points. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, today is one day that they're going to be here. They're going to be here about you know, we're between 2 and 3 o'clock today. Uh -huh. So what do you have to do to these boxes to get them just, to... Just break the boxes down and then take the boxes as it is. Same... You don't have to take the tape off, you just no, have to... Okay. No, just the boxes as is. Break them down. Exactly. And the plastic bottles, we'll just uh, take the labels off of any plastic bottles that we have. Uh -huh. Same thing with any aluminum cans. And what do have. they do with... What does Blue Stuck the Sky do with the recyclables? What do they... Do they turn them into something else or...? Um, to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure where they go to after they go to Blue, blue Sky Recycling. Mm -hmm. um, but I anticipate that it's something along the lines of uh, recycling those to more products, like recycled paper products. Mm -hmm. uh, some of our boxes actually that come in are made from recycled corrugated cardboard. So you're getting boxes you've already used. <laughs> We're getting boxes that we've already used. In fact, um, you know, some of these products you see the recyclable you know, contain, uh, label on mm -hmm. there. But yeah, some of the boxes that we actually get in have already been recycled, which is pretty fantastic. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Nick. My pleasure, my pleasure. And thank your, thank your staff for me. Absolutely. This is where people get tea and coffee. I'm being quiet because there's a meeting of animal behaviorists out there. This is looking out to the parking lot of Angel Village.